In science and other fields of study, we use a set of imaginary lines overlaid on the earth to understand and communicate about scientific principles and knowledge. Longitude is a geographic coordinate that is used to describe the east to west location of a point on the surface of the earth. Longitude is usually expressed in degrees and are represented by imaginary lines that run from the North Pole through the South Pole. These lines are also known as meridians. One specific meridian or line of longitude is known as the prime meridian. The prime meridian on the Earth passes through the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, England and denotes zero degrees of longitude. Longitude on the Earth can be measured from negative 180 degrees in the west to zero degrees at the prime meridian to 180 degrees in the east. Latitude is a geographic coordinate that denotes the north or south position of a point on the Earth. These are also expressed in degrees north or degrees south. Latitude is also known as parallels because they are parallel lines that circle the Earth. One specifically named line that denotes latitude is known as the equator, and it is at zero degrees of latitude. Latitude goes from 90 degrees north at the North Pole to zero degrees at the equator to 90 degrees south at the South Pole. A few other important yet still imaginary lines on the Earth are the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Cancer, the Tropic of Capricorn, and the Antarctic Circle. The Arctic and Antarctic Circles are respectively found approximately 66 degrees of latitude north and 66 degrees of latitude south of the equator. The Arctic Circle represents the furthest point south of the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere where locations experience both 24 hours of daylight and 24 hours of nighttime at some point during the year. This means that at some point during the year, all locations north of the Arctic Circle will experience a day of entire daylight, where the sun will never go below the horizon. They will also all experience 24 hours of nighttime, where the sun never rises above the horizon. These events happen around the summer solstice and the winter solstice, respectively. Locations further south of the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere also experience similar events. They will also have 24 hours of daylight at some point during the year and 24 hours of nighttime at some point during the year. Again, these events take place around the summer solstice and the winter solstice. And depending on how far north of the Arctic Circle and south of the Antarctic Circle a location is can determine how many days they experience of complete daylight or complete nighttime. The Tropic of Cancer is approximately 23 degrees of latitude north of the equator. And this is the furthest point north on the Earth where the Sun is directly overhead at some point during the year. This typically happens at the summer solstice, which is around June 21st. The Tropic of Capricorn is opposite of the Tropic of Cancer. It is approximately 23 degrees of latitude south of the equator and is the farthest location south where the sun is directly overhead at some point during the year. This event takes place around the winter solstice for the Northern Hemisphere, around December 21st each year. These last four great circles that we've mentioned, the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Cancer, the Tropic of Capricorn, and the Antarctic Circle, are all largely impacted by the axis tilt of the Earth. The axis tilt of the Earth is determined by the difference between the ecliptic, which is the plane of the Earth's orbit around the Sun, and the equatorial plane, which is the plane that extends perpendicular from the rotational axis of the Earth. The difference between these two planes, the ecliptic and the equatorial plane, is approximately 23.5 degrees, which is the axis tilt of the Earth. This difference, or the axis tilt, determines the locations of the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Cancer, the Tropic of Capricorn, and the Antarctic Circle.